Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, July the 19th, and it's really good to be back with you. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 19, the third way of service, work. Jesus took on himself the form of a servant. He came not to be served, but to serve. He went about doing good, healing the sick, preaching good news to the poor, and binding up the brokenhearted. O God, you resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Help us not to think proudly, but to serve you with humility that pleases you, so we may walk in the steps of your servant Francis and receive the gifts of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God rules over all the earth. O come, let us worship. The Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 45. My heart is stirring with a noble song. Let me recite what I have fashioned for the king. My tongue shall be the pen of a skilled writer. You are the fairest of men. Grace flows from your lips because God has blessed you forever. Strap your sword upon your thigh, O mighty warrior, in your pride and in your majesty. Ride out and conquer in the cause of truth and for the sake of justice. Your right hand will show you marvelous things. Your arrows are very sharp, O mighty warrior. The people are falling at your feet, and the king's enemies are losing heart. Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you, with the oil of gladness above your fellows. All your garments are fragrant with myrrh, aloes, and cassia, and the music of strings from ivory palaces makes you glad. King's daughters stand among the ladies of the court. On your right hand is the queen, adorned, adored, adorned with the gold of Ophir. Hear, O daughter, consider and listen closely. Forget your people in your father's house. The king will have pleasure in your beauty. He is your master, therefore do him honor. The people of Tyre are here with a gift. The rich among the people seek your favor. All glorious is the princess as she enters. Her, her gown is cloth of gold. In embroidered apparel she is brought to the king, and after her the bridesmaids follow in procession. With joy and gladness they are brought and enter into the palace of the king. In place of fathers, O king, you shall have sons. You shall make them princes over all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered from one generation to another. Therefore nations will praise you forever and ever. Gracious God, your love unites heaven and earth in a new festival of gladness. Lift our spirits to learn the way of joy that leads us to your banquet hall, where all is golden with praise. We ask this through Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him. At once he came up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. 
Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you are here to do. Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. Suddenly one of those with Jesus put his hand on his sword, drew it, and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my Father, and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled, which say it must happen in this way? At that hour Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I were a bandit? Day after day I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But all this has taken place, so that the scriptures of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. The Gospel of Christ Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. God of peace and justice, we pray for the people of Ukraine today. We pray for peace and the laying down of weapons. We pray for those who fear for tomorrow, that your spirit of comfort would draw near to them. We pray for those with power over war or peace, for wisdom, discernment, and compassion to guide their decisions. Above all, we pray for all your precious children, at risk and in fear, that you would hold and protect them. We pray in the name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Amen. We pray for the Church throughout the world. We pray for the Church in Ukraine. We pray for the bishops of our church as they travel to Lambeth for the once every 10 year convention of all of the bishops across the communion. We pray for travel mercies for them, for good weather. We pray that they will have fruitful discussions. We ask for the Holy Spirit to guide and lead them as they discern your will for the greater church. We pray for Bishop William, who is currently in England. We pray for assisting Bishop Larry as he prepares to travel. We pray for our Metropolitan Greg, our acting National Indigenous Bishop Sidney, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. O Lord, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world, and we pray today for those places in the world where people will struggle, where people will die, because of warfare, famine, disease, man-made or natural disasters. We pray for Yemen, Sudan, Nigeria, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, Ukraine, and the United States. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those in our community who this day will suffer from the effects of systemic racism and prejudice. Those who will be seen as an outsider, unworthy, 
those will be seen as less than or not seen at all. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who will suffer from the effects of poverty or homelessness. For those who will struggle to find their daily bread in this land of plenty. We give thanks for those who work with the marginalized in our community. We give thanks for 7th Street Access, Samaritan House, Helping Hands, Safe and Warm, BNRC, and the Bear Clan. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick. We pray for those in our hospital, our nursing homes, those awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. And we give thanks for our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, for first responders, for social workers and mental health workers, researchers, and scientists. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. And in this time of uncertainty, in this time of pandemic, in this time of high inflation, we pray for those who are struggling. We pray for those who are fearful, for those who are worried about the future or about the present. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying, and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray this morning for the African province, for Ghana, and we pray for Emily, Elisi, Jubal, Amy, Diane, Jody, Ken, Joey, Miguel, Sybil, Annie, Phoenix, Keith, Joa, Jocelynza, Alex, James, Gary, Rosanna, Sergio, Hugo, Joseph, Bonita, and Charlie. And we pray for our companions, Matthew, James, and Kip. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, your Son has opened for us a new and living way into your presence. Give us pure hearts and constant wills to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing.
and his peace. Amen.